Paul, thanks for joining us. Um, last pre-season game, how do you feel it went today? Um, it doesn't matter what game it is, I don't like to lose. Um, I don't feel over the course of it we probably deserve to. But that's a couple of times we've said that and I've just said to the players that's something we can't have going into the season. Um, because ultimately performances, and that's what we're looking at in particular, but you still got to get results. And today was, you know, frustrated because I thought we started the game really well. The first little spell they had, they managed to capitalise on and score. And I felt after that we had more than enough opportunities to have been on the score sheet itself and didn't. So we come away uh, with a scoreline. Anyone that hasn't been here will just think, well, we, well, certainly haven't scored, but we might just think we haven't created. And, and that was far from the case. You know, there, there were a lot of changes as it went on, so it got a bit fragmented, but certainly first half and, and the start of the second half, we had chances and we've got to take advantage of that. We've got to find a, a ruthless streak. Thankfully, no points at stake today, but next Saturday, you know, it all starts and, and we've got to find that, like I said, that, that streak in us. Yeah, a bit like Tuesday night against Lincoln, you really took the game to them. Yeah, I thought we, we controlled the game and that was really pleasing because They've certainly got some very good footballers here um, and I think it wasn't too far off what they might consider their sort of first team as well um, and what might sort of take to the field for them in, in the next week. So I was really pleased. I felt, you know, again, I guess there's no pressure in terms of results and points at stake, as I said, but really relaxed watching the players. I was enjoying it. Um, just that final part. You know, I think when the goal went in, the heads didn't drop or anything. They, we kept sort of being on the front foot and certainly, like I said, created chances. We were a little bit unfortunate with a couple of things that have, you know, hit the woodwork twice. But then the, the one just on half time, you know, we've got to put that in the net. And that's said, it doesn't matter. It's not just about forward scoring. Whoever's find themselves up there, and that starts on the training pitch. You know, whenever we're practicing anything, there's got to be a serious element to it. We've got to enjoy, you know, scoring goals, whether that's from a left bike, a right bike, centre bike, centre forward, it doesn't matter. We've got to got to get into the habit of scoring goals. I think we can see why you brought Danny Rose in. When Anthony Glennon's putting balls like that on his head and like you mentioned, it hit the hit the woodwork straight on his head, wasn't it? And he's such a good, so good in the air. Yeah, no, he, he's a threat. Uh, we know that. And I, I kind of said when he came in, though, he, he's not prolific in terms of his numbers but brings hell of a lot more to his game than, than the goals but I do feel that you know with the way that we're playing he's got a couple in pre-season being unlucky there that he could have a really good season you know and score more than perhaps he has done in, in recent seasons himself so that's something we'll be trying and hoping does happen uh, but it's there's got to be a lot more people than just Danny contribute those goals obviously uh, you know, missing a couple of players, uh, particularly at the top end of the pitch. So we, towards the end, you know, we ended up, you know, a very sort of patched up sort of lineup, I guess, in in them those front areas. How do you sum up the pre-season then, Paul, and how it's gone with all the games? I think first and foremost, in terms of the squad that we've managed to assemble, very pleased, and a lot of those were done earlier. So that bonding time and getting to know each other, as we've given ourselves the best chance of doing that. Um, I think performances in the main have been pretty good. I've been pleased with some of the football we've played, certainly, and the way that they've, in again, in the main grasp what we've been looking for from them. Certainly after the first couple of games when kind of decided to go probably the, a set sort of way. Um, but, you know, now it's, it's upon us. In a week's time, we'll be sat talking and... You know, my feelings, I'm sure, will be a lot stronger whether they are hopefully good ones or, or negative, whichever it is. But let's hope it's, uh, you know, we can get off to a winning start. And how's the squad looking injury-wise Look ahead of that big kick-off next Saturday? Yeah, I mean, we've got a week uh, to go. I think there's a couple of lads that, that won't be fit. Uh, and then we've got, I would say, one stroke, two potential ones that could come back into uh, training next week. So, overall, I think you want everyone fit, but it's very rare at any point in the season that you have everyone fit, apart from perhaps that first day of pre-season training. 
So oh, we've done all right, but as as per usual and what seems to happen, we kind of had a, a few injuries in the same sort of position or certainly same areas of the pitch, which like today we, Danny, I wanted to play, needed to play realistically, but you know, if, if we'd have lost him today, then we would have really been sort of struggling. So yes, it didn't help us in terms of trying to get the result, taking him off and you know putting Issa there and then Issa's come off. I, I'm hoping that's just a bang. I haven't really spoke about that in there, but I'm assuming that's what it is. So you'd like to think he would be okay. Um, but yeah, we've got a, you know, an element of protection, and they, we all know the important game is next Saturday. Uh, as much as we would have liked to have got something from today. And this week, you've got a full week on the training pitch with them as well, which could be big. Yeah, we have. Um, but I think we've done a lot of that work, Scott. In, in all honesty, there's certainly a few bits that we haven't touched on yet that will kind of be rolled out for Wimbledon, I suppose. Um, and we've got the open day, which will be nice. You know, Monday's kind of semi-recovery day. It's early in the season, so not not totally that. But, um, you know, we'll look forward to that and, and seeing the fans, obviously, of all ages, but particularly, the you know, the younger ones with it being school holidays, etc. They can see a bit of training. Um, and then, like I said, the rest of the week, focus on what we think Wimbledon might bring. But again, it's it's early and there's always a bit of cat and mouse goes on in terms of lineups and and perhaps shape, set players, things like that. So you have to think on your feet, and the players have to be alive come the day of the game because you haven't got as you know clearly as much um, game footage to go on uh, that we'll build up on those opponents as, as the season progresses. Cheers, Paul. Thank you.